Hello students, how are you? I hope you are fine and keeping safe and on top of everything, respecting your parents. This is teacher Hilda, your English teacher for Senior 3, and I want you to get ready with your notebooks and pens so that we can study. Before we start, I want to remind you that this program is brought to you by the Rwanda Education Board in partnership with MasterCard Foundation and Inspire Educate Rwanda. So due to the spread of COVID-19, uh, schools were closed and we are expected to study from home. In our last lessons, we have been looking, our unit was about careers, but in our lesson today, our unit is about running a business. So in uh, running a business, we shall look at how one can run a business. We shall look at buying things. We shall look at talking about budgets, talking about pocket money, describing incomes, and talking uh, about borrowing. So those are the major things we are going to look at in running a business, and not forgetting the grammar part where we shall look at um, the present simple tense, we shall look at um, cooperatives, and we shall also look at uh, pronunciation of the present simple tense. So uh, today let us start with running a business. So our subtopic today is running a, running a business. I'm going to explain a few things about running a business. Uh, but before we start on the types of businesses, run, how to run a business, I want us to first define what a business is. What do you think is uh, a business when someone tells you, uh, that I run a business, what comes into your mind? What is the first thing that comes into your mind when someone talks about business? So when we talk about business, a business is the activity of making one's living or making money by producing or buying and selling products such as goods and services. So simply put, eh, it is like an activity or an enterprise entered for profit. So some people enter it for profit and other Depends on what uh, you want. So a business can start from a um, street peddler to General Motors. So a business is either your occupation, profession, or trade, or it is a commercial activity which involves providing goods or services in exchange for profits. A business is a commercial activity which involves providing goods and services with a primary motive of earning profits. So that is how we can define a business. We can also look at different types of businesses. There are many uh, businesses can be classified into, are uh, not limited to four types, which are the first one is manufacturing. Now, manufacturing businesses are the producers who develop the product and sell it either directly to the customer or to the middleman to conduct sales. So examples of manufacturing businesses are steel factories, plastic factories, among others. We also have uh, service. This type of business deals in selling intangible goods uh, to the customer. So unlike tangible goods, uh, services cannot be stored or separated from the provider. So the best examples of these are like saloons, schools, consultancy, among others. So we also have the merchandising. Uh, merchandising is like middlemen, middlemen business uh, strategies, uh, where the business buys products from a manufacturer or a wholesaler or other partners and sells the same at the retail price. So it's usually known as buy and sell business as they uh, make profits by selling the products at a price higher than their cost price. So when you buy goods from such people, uh, the, the prices are much higher to compare to the cost price. So examples of merchandising businesses are like grocery stores, supermarkets, distributors, among others. So we also have hybrid businesses. Uh, hybrid businesses have the characteristics uh, of the two types of businesses. They are like merchandising, manufacturing, and then service. They provide services. They sell goods on behalf of the manufacturer, among others. Uh, for example, a restaurant develops its own menu. Uh, it sells products, it sells cold drinks from which are manufactured by other businesses and provides services to customers. So we have different forms of businesses. 
uh, those were the types who are um, manufacturing, service, merchandising, and hybrid. So when we come to the forms uh, of businesses, uh, business ownership comes in many forms based on uh, a number of owners, uh, the liability of the owners, representation, and motive. The first one we can look at um, is the sole proprietorship. Now, a sole proprietorship is a business owned and operated by a single individual. So it is easy to set up, operate, and register. So all the products of the business belong to the owner, and he's also liable for all the liabilities incurred. And the biggest drawback of this business is that the owner faces unlimited uh, liability. So this means that the creditors of the business can go after the personal assets of the owner if the business is unable to pay, to pay them. So the other one is partnership. When uh, two or more persons join hands to run a business, they usually come into partnership. So partnership comes in two forms. For example, uh, general or limited. But a general partnership is like sole proprietorship, but uh, more than the owner, where all, mostly all, uh, owners face unlimited liability. So limited partnerships, some or all of the partners have limited liability. We also have cooperation, where a corporation actually is a business which has a separate legal identity from the people who own or run it. So ownership is usually represented in form of share or stock. Okay, So owners enjoy limited liability but as not necessarily involved in running the business. So the business is operated by a group that is board of directors elected by the stakeholders. We also have limited liability company. So a limited liability company is a hybrid form of business which has characteristics of both a corporation and a partnership. So a partnership, it's a partnership because it is not incorporated and a corporation because all the partners or owners enjoy limited liabilities. So we also have the cooperative. Uh, cooperatives um, is a private business organization owned and controlled by people for their mutual benefit. So these people are called members and are benefited by the goods and services offered by the cooperative. All members uh, in the cooperative are expected to help run the business as the main motive of the cooperative to provide service to all the members rather than return on investment. So uh, those are some of the kinds of businesses. You can start a business by your own. You can partner with a friend. You can come as a group to form um, a business, depending on what you want. So how can you run a business? Have you ever run a business or do you have a business? Do your parents own businesses? How do they run them? How do they start their businesses? Do you have any ideas on how they started and how they are still running the business? I'm going to give you a few tips. The first one is you could write a business plan, like any business plan. Uh, it doesn't matter how long or detailed your plan is, as long as it covers a few essential points. Uh, most successful um, small businesses will need to have a break, even analysis, a profit um, loss forecast, and cash flow analysis. So a cash flow analysis is especially important since uh, you could be selling your products like hot cake. But if you won't be paid for six months, for example, you could still run out of money and have to close doors to close your business. So a, a business plan is essential because it allows you to experiment with a strategy uh, for your business on paper before you start playing for keeps, okay? So when you write down your business plan, it is easier to run because, you know, when I run out of money, what am I going to do? So the other thing is you could determine how you make a profit. How do you make a profit? Now, profit is, after all, the ultimate goal of any successful small business. Uh, you could examine your business's expenses, for example, rent, materials, uh, the employee compensation, among other things. And then uh, you figure out how, how much you need to sell or to cover uh, those costs and start generating a profit. So this is known as break-even analysis, okay? How you are going to, you know, make a profit. You could also start as, um, as much uh, with your own money. Start with your own money, okay? Uh, you see small businesses, uh, small business owners cover their startup costs entirely 
through loans uh, with the expectation that they will begin paying back the loans with their profits from their new business. So new businesses uh, can take months or years to generate a profit and loan payments can really become a milestone around the neck of a flanging operation. So it is better when you start with your own money because if it fails, you don't lose everything. The other thing is you can also start small. So everyone wants their small business to be successful, which is okay, with multiple locations, uh, lots of employees, and loads of revenue. But you have to learn to walk before you run, okay? Don't spread yourself too thin uh, or take it too many expenses at the beginning, especially if your income might take a while to catch up to your ambitions okay so start small ensure that you can survive the inevitable hiccups associated with running a small business okay so you also have to know your age okay if you let's say you get competitors how are you going to compete with them the other thing is you have to hire the right people uh, don't just hire the first person to come along with the basic qualifications you need uh, look for someone with motivation, creativity, and, and uh, the right kind of personality to make it in your industry and fit in your business. Then, once you've found that person, uh, treat them well, engage them, uh, and make sure that they create the environment that they will thrive and give their all in. So you have to also make sure you create the right kind of employee relationship. And lastly, pay your bills, okay? Pay your bills in time. Because the more you pile up the loans, the more it becomes so stressing for you. So it should go without saying that, uh, but it's important to pay what you owe, okay? We all uh, need to pay our debts. So it is important to pay your regular debts in a timely fashion. So if you get a reputation of piling a debt or piling debts, you could find it difficult to form a business relationships in the future. Plus, if you stay current in your debts and pay them as you incur them, it will help you avoid being overwhelmed by cash flow problems if several debts come due simultaneously. So pay your debts, okay? So most importantly about business, eh? this lesson about running a business is to help you run a business so that you, you can become entrepreneurs, know how to start a business. The knowledge and skill you're going to get from this lesson or you've got from this lesson uh, is going to help you to deal with you either when you start a business and how you have to run them. So I want to pose a question to you, someone to define the term entrepreneur in your own words. And give any four characteristics of an entrepreneur. Uh, define the term entrepreneur in your own words and give four characteristics of an entrepreneur. And I want you to write the definition in your books and we shall come back and look at what you have in your books. So an entrepreneur is a person who organizes and operates a business and takes risks related to the business. I have said an entrepreneur is a person who organizes and operates a business and takes risks related to that business, okay? So what are the qualities of a good entrepreneur? What do you think a good entrepreneur, what qualities do you think a good entrepreneur should have? The first one, I think a good entrepreneur should be disciplined. You see these individuals are focused on making their businesses work and eliminate any hindrances or distractions to their goals. So successful entrepreneurs are disciplined enough to take steps every day towards the achievement of their objectives. Uh, the other quality is that they should be confident. Okay? Confidence is really important. They are confident with the knowledge that they will make their businesses succeed. Okay? They show um, that confidence in everything they do. Like that confidence in everything they do. So they should also be open-minded. Okay? Entrepreneurs realize that every event and situation is um, a business opportunity. So ideas are constantly being generated about work flows and efficiency, people skills and potential new businesses. Okay? So another quality is that an entrepreneur should be a self starter. Okay? Should be a self starter, should be competitive, should be creative. Okay? If you're not creative, you're not going to compete in the market. Uh, entrepreneurs often come up with solutions 
which are the synthesis of their items, okay? They will repurpose products and market them to new industries. So if you're not creative, I don't know how you're going to sell your product. An entrepreneur should also be determinant, okay? The determination, okay? They look at defeat as an opportunity for success. They are determined to make all their endeavors succeed. So we'll try and try again until it does, okay? Successful entrepreneurs, do not believe that something cannot be done. They believe that something can always be done. An entrepreneur should be a strong person, okay, with uh, have strong personal skills, should be strong at work ethics, and most importantly, should have passion. Eh? Passion is uh, the most important trait of a successful entrepreneur. They love their work. They are willing to put in those extra hours to make their businesses uh, succeed, okay? They really love what they do. Successful entrepreneurs, I want to see what the view it is is like on top, okay? So they want to get there. They want to get on top of the mountain. So uh, that is what um, I would say about the qualities of a good entrepreneur. Come along and play with So someone may think, one member actually may think that starting a business is difficult, while another member may think that starting a business is not difficult. So I want you to write down the reasons why you think starting a business could be difficult or couldn't be difficult, why it is easy to start a business, why it is so challenging. It, yeah, it might be challenging because it requires a lot of determination and learning and uh, only pays off uh, like in long term, okay, a lot of things. So I want you to write down why you think starting a business is challenging or it is not or why you think starting a business is easy, is so, so easy for you. I want us to do some comprehension. We are going to read a passage and then answer a question. We are going to read a passage about running a business, okay? And the title of the passage is Inyaranda Clothes. Inyaranda Clothes. It started when second-hand clothes were in fashion in Rwanda a few years ago. One day, Miss Mukandoli, a busy woman and, and a loving wife, went shopping for nice second-hand clothes. After a few hours of searching, she came home exhausted and disappointed because everyone was struggling to pick nice ones. In 2006, the government of Rwanda increased the price of second-hand clothes. So uh, many women found it hard to find the right outfit. I will help them, thought Miss Mukandoli. With very little money, no connections in the fashion world and a community who laughed at her idea that wasn't realistic, she persisted and decided to start up her own business. Miss Mukandoli designed her first collection of 20 clothing items, both suitable material, and a sewing machine. Miss Mukandoli was a tailor herself. Her sitting room turned into a workshop. When the collection was ready, Miss Mukandoli took them to fashion shops. To her surprise, they bought the whole collection at once. When they asked her about the name of her company, Miss Mukandoli looked at them, smiled and said, Inyaranda. Today many people have fallen in love with products from Miss Mukandoli as she has hired other tailors and expanded her business. Other people have copied and now clothes made in Rwanda are on high demand across the country. So uh, we are going to answer these questions together. The first question is, why didn't Miss Mukandoli manage to buy any clothes? Why didn't Miss Mukandoli manage to buy any clothes? The second question is, we shall look at the answers later uh, after reading the passage for the second time. The second question is, what three difficulties did Miss Mukandoli face when starting up her business? What three difficulties did Miss Mukandoli face? face when starting up her business. The third one is, what special character traits helped Miss Mokandoli succeed in her new business? What special character traits helped Miss Mokandoli to succeed in her new career? So the fourth one is, what did Miss Mokandoli do in order to start her business? What did Miss Mokandoli do in order to start her 
business. The fifth one is, where did Miss Mukandoli saw her first collection? Okay, so those are the five numbers. We are going to read the passage again so that we can come back and answer this question. Remember I said the title of the passage is called Inyaranda Clothes. The title is Inyaranda Clothes. It started when second-hand clothes were in fashion in Rwanda a few years ago. One day, Miss Mukandoli, a busy uh, mom and a loving wife, went shopping for nice second-hand clothes. After a few hours of searching, she came home exhausted and disappointed because everyone was struggling to pick nice ones. In 2016, the government of Rwanda increased the price of second-hand clothes, so many women found it hard to, to find the right outfit. How Help them, thought Miss Mukandoli. Uh, with very little money, no connections in the fashion world, and a community uh, who laughed at her idea that it wasn't realistic, she persisted and decided to start up her own business. Miss Mukandoli designed her first collection of 20 clothing items, both suitable material and a sewing machine. Miss Mukandoli was a tailor herself. Her sitting room turned into a workshop. When the collection was ready, Miss Mukandoli took them to a fashion shop. To her surprise, they bought the whole collection at once. When they asked her about the name of her company, Miss Mukandoli looked at them, smiled and said, Inyaranda. Today many people have fallen in love with products from Miss Mukandoli. She has hired other tailors and expanded her business. Other people have coped her and now clothes made in Rwanda are on high demand across the country. So that was our passage. We can answer question one, which was, why didn't Miss Mukandoli manage to buy any clothes? Why do you think Miss Mukandoli did not manage to buy any clothes? Uh, Miss Mukandoli did not buy any clothes because buyers were many. It was difficult to find the right outfit and they were very expensive okay miss mukandoli did not manage to buy any clothes because buyers were many it was difficult to find the right outfit and they were very expensive and the second one is um what three difficulties did miss mukandoli face when starting up a business okay what three difficulties did miss mukandoli face when starting up a business She faced a number of them. The first one was that she had very little capital, okay? And she did not have connections in the fashion world. And people thought that her idea was so unrealistic. Uh, she had very little capital. She did not have connections in the fashion world. And people thought that her idea was very unrealistic. So let us look at question three. Uh, what special character traits helped Miss Mukandoli succeed in her new career? What special character traits helped Miss Mukandoli succeed in her new career? Uh, the special characteristics I would say is that um, she was one, creative. Uh, the second one, she was hardworking and then she was persistent. That is determined to succeed. She was determined to help those people who really struggled and did not have enough money to buy second-hand clothes. Uh, number four, what did Miss Mukandoli do in order to start her business? What did she do uh, from the passage? What did she do to start her business? One, she designed her own collection of 20 uh, clothing items. Okay? She designed her own collection. Uh, our number five was, um, uh, where did Miss Mukandoli saw her first collection? Where do you think she sold her first collection from? It was from her sitting room. She turned her sitting room into a business place where she was going to operate her businesses, her businesses from. So, in our lesson today, we have looked at uh, running a business, okay? Running a business, we have defined a business. We have said that a business is an activity of making one's living or making money by producing 
or buying and selling products. We have looked at the types of businesses and we have said they are mostly four. The first one is manufacturing, the second one is service, the third one is merchandising, the fourth one is hybrid. We have also looked at the forms of business ownership and we say that a business can be owned by a single individual that is sole proprietorship, partnership, it could be a corporation, limited liability company, and a cooperative. We've also looked at uh, how to run a business, okay? The first one, you have to write a business plan. You have to determine how you make the profits. You start small. You keep your age. You hire the right people and pay your bills on and pay your bills on time, okay? We have also looked at who an entrepreneur is, and we said that an entrepreneur is a person who organizes and operates a business and takes risks related to that business, okay? We have also looked at the qualities of a good entrepreneur, and we said a good entrepreneur should be disciplined, have confidence, okay? Be open-minded, be a self-starter, be competitive, uh, be determined, be creative, be strong with work ethic, and most importantly, have passion, okay? So I want to thank you for paying attention, and in our next lesson, we shall be looking at buying things, buying things. So I want to ask you to stay safe until we meet again. See you. Bye-bye. Goodbye, 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 teacher. Goodbye, children. See you next time. Goodbye, 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 teacher.